Austin and, and Xavier Thomas, uh, I imagine it feels a little bit different for you going into August. Yeah, it, it is a little different, but, um, you know, I, I approach every new man just like this, this different. You know, and, uh, obviously, you have a group like I had last year, you know, you don't have to do a lot of coaching, you know, the two guys I had. Uh, I really appreciate it. I learned a lot from them. And, uh, now we're in a new chapter and uh, we're just going to move ahead with the guys that we have. Guys, KJ Henry, yeah. everybody talks about him. Mm -hmm. Justin Foster. Yeah. Looks like he might, he came out of the spring probably as the starter. Yeah. Is he a little bit under the radar, underrated? By people outside of this program, I think so. I think I think you think about Justin Foster. In, in my mind, he's consistent. All right, he's not a outspoken guy. He's a guy about his business. He gets, he gets focused in. You know, he's not going to be a rah rah. He's not going to do that. That's not who he is, and I'm okay with that. Uh, but the thing that you're going to get is a kid that's going to come to work. He's going to be focused. He's going to be very detailed. He's going to do his job, and that's all you can ask. For. About the other Justin, Justin Maxwell. Yes. Let's talk about Justin Maxwell yeah. and his development since he's arrived. Uh, I, I'm really, I've been really impressed with Justin. Just his, uh, you know, one, his body type. He's gotten a lot bigger. I wanted him to get somewhere between 60, 260 and 265. He's there. Uh, he's strong, fast. Uh, he had a good spring. Uh, and he's going to get better. So I've, I've been really, really impressed with that. Xavier Thomas, you know, they say you can't teach speed. Right. He's got that. Yeah. What is there that David Xavier Thomas has that you have to teach him that he needs to learn? Say that again now. What is there that Xavier Thomas has that you need to teach him? What does he need to learn? Right. Well, you know, I think, I think for Xavier, he has to become a leader. You know, I, I, you know, football. He has all of that, but it's more than just that. You got to be a leader. You got to, you got to, you know, do the little things, and, and that's what we're trying to get into. Get to. Uh, great football player, but you know, there's other things that he can do. Okay. Do you see him stepping into a leadership role uh, this season, or is that something that you know he may have to grow into? Well, you know, our, our goal is that we want to empower our guys. But, and, you know, a lot of those guys well, last year, they didn't have to leave. They don't, they don't know how to leave. And, and my job as a coach is to empower the guys to be leaders. And, and that's what I have to do. You know, Xavier has the ability to do that. Uh, Logan, Logan uh, Rudolph is a leader. All my guys are leaders, but they've never been asked to do that. So now, you can definitely talk to them. You've got to lead. I did it. I mean, you know, they, they, uh, they did a good job. They know the, the work, the grind of the work. They understand that. Uh, just how to study in the classroom. Um, they understand that, and so uh, that's what I told those guys. Hey, you got, you got, you got four seniors in this room, and your job is to watch and learn. And, and, and what I had with those guys, when I say those guys, I'm talking about Austin Cleve, Richard, and uh, even Chris Register. Um, they, they came alongside of those, those players, and they led by the guy. They said, hey man, look, let's get together. I'm gonna teach you how to study. I'm gonna teach you how to do these things. And, and that's what I got from, from my senior class. Chris, when you talk about how, how taken aback he was when KJ approached him about redshirting, yeah. um, not often you see that from a five-star recruit. Uh, how unique is that? What does that say about his personality? Uh, it says a lot. You know, it says that you know here's a kid that understood that what he you know, what he had in front of him, but he was, really, he was definitely realistic to know that hey man, I'm not quite ready. And to be honest with you, it made our job a little easy uh, because we were trying to figure out what to do with KJ. Uh, but KJ realized that he wasn't quite ready. But I've been so impressed with just his development. Uh, not only in the spring, but even now in the summer. He's gotten very strong and faster, and uh, I expect great things after him this fall. Yeah, we're going to talk too much about it. It's Logan Rudolph. Uh, tell us about Logan's development so far. Yeah, so Logan Rudolph, man, in my opinion, is, is a guy that, that uh, can definitely start for us. Uh, he's, he's proven that just through his work ethic, uh, his, his toughness, his physicality. He's everything that he's done, everything that I've asked him for him to do. Uh, his leadership, you know, guys love Logan. Man. And so I expect Logan, and he, to me, in my mind, he came out of spring as one of our starters. And uh, he, he earns that, and he busts his tail every day. And uh, I've been I've been truly really impressed with what Logan has done for us and what he's going to continue to do.
Are you looking at these guys to play both sides of the yes. line? Or are you just trying to train in one yeah, spot? Yeah, so all my guys are, are we, we, we developed them to play both sides. So Logan can play left, he can play right. You know, all those guys can play left and right. You know, because what you don't want to get, you don't want to get yourself all time where you got one guy can only play right side, right? And then you want, at the end of the day, I got to get the best combination on the field. And so my goal, hopefully, is to be able to play five or six guys uh, for the year. What, do, you, do you have those five or six in your mind? Of, I mean, obviously we know XT, KJ, Logan, Justin. Who, who's going to kind of fill in behind those guys? Well, it's you said hit it best. You got, you got, you got Foster, Logan. You got the five uh, scholarship guys. Uh, and then you know, after that, you're just trying to figure out, okay, who who can fit, who can be my sixth guy. But you know, the goal is to play five. And it's, it's you know, Foster, Rudolph. Xavier Thomas, KJ Henry, and Justin Mask. Didn't get to talk to you after the national championship. Being an Alabama guy, just yeah. how, how surreal was that whole experience for you? Well, the first year was surreal. Uh, the first year was like, okay, they beat us. Uh, uh, but then all the other years, man, it's just, it's okay now. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. Uh, it was obviously when you, when you beat Alabama, you. You know, the, the rhetoric that I heard was that, you know, can we compete with Alabama? And I'm like, man, we, we, got, we got everything that they have. And so to go out and, and to win like we did, I wasn't surprised. Uh, and, um, you know, because of the caliber players that we have. And our guys bought into what we were trying to do defensively. And we just went out and executed and totally dominated. Do you hear about it from a lot of friends and family, kind of like Coach, yeah. Coach Sweeney talks about it? Oh, I hear it all the time. And, and Alabama is my area. I recruit Alabama. And so, uh, you know, I, and, and I'm from Alabama, my hometown, so I recruit my high school in that area. So I'm constantly hearing from my, my teammates or people that, that are Alabama fans. How can you be an Alabama guy when you beat Alabama like that? I said, hey, I get paid to do this. This is a part of my job at all, you know? <laughs> I still, I mean, I, that's my alma mater, you know? I don't wish any harm in Alabama, but at the end of the day, my job is to go out and win ball games. You know?